Hey guys, it's Angela and for today's video we are going to be testing out the Finishing Touch Flawless Brows. As you can see my brows are completely grown in and they need a lot of help so we are going to test this out, hopefully it works. And yeah, so without any further ado, let's, uh, let's get into it. Okay, so real quick, it's been probably a about six weeks since I sat in front of the camera, honestly. I had some pre-recorded videos that I uploaded the last couple of weeks, but it's been quite a while, probably since my BoxyCharm video um, that I recorded. And this is how my hair has faded out. Um, just so you guys get an update. It's, a, it's white now, so it looks a little darker, but it's actually like white silver. So the purple has faded out completely into silver. It's time to redo my roots and re -dye it, but I just wanted to show you guys. I just got out of the shower, so. All right, so let's get into this product, and um, I have seen several of them, uh, the finishing touch for the face, and I decided not to get that one, just because I'm not one to remove facial hair, unless they're like strong hairs that I need to pluck. I'm just not into removing like fine baby hair, or not baby hair, whatever it's called. Um, peach fuzz. So I'm just gonna rip into this box quite literally. I destroyed it on the way out. And let's see here. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's got this plastic cover on it. Here is the product. And let's see here. It's got a little tiny brush so that you can um, clean it out. And of course, it brings a battery. So let's read the directions real quick. It feels really lightweight, like really, really cheap plastic. Nothing new there. Okay. So you remove the cap, hold top and bottom of the unit, and pull apart to reveal battery compartment. Okay. So take off the top. That's what it looks like. We are going to pull this apart. And there is the battery compartment. So we are going to put the little battery in there. And this is, it, yeah, it's a AAA. It looks really short, but I think it's just because of the way that it's, um, put together and we're just gonna pop this little guy in here put it back and there it is ready to go um, prior to first use test unit on small area if sensitive or allergic reactions occur discontinue use immediately okay I have you quite zoomed in so that you guys can see how it works by the way I'm using a new camera that's part of the reason why I wasn't recording this camera right here is about 10 years old and it only records in 720 and it's in a pretty bad shape. The battery does not want to charge. So I just got a Galaxy Note 9, but I didn't have a mount for it. So I finally got a chance to order a mount for it. And that's what I'm recording on today. So let me know if the video quality is better. Um, I do have it on portrait focus, so it should focus on just my face. So hopefully that will give us some really good, nice detail on how this looks. All right, let's see. You slide gold switch up to turn on. Okay, so that is the instructions right there. Let's see. So, yep, there it is. Slide gold switch up to turn on. So that's the switch right down there. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, and that's what it looks like. It lights up. Okay. I'm going to remove that sticker just because it looks prettier without it, and I already know how to turn it on. So I have my mirror right here. So let's go ahead and test this out and see how it does on these really, really sad looking brows. Honestly, my brows are so bad right now. Ah, here we go. Perfect. She got me the AOA Studios brow brush, which is perfect. It's got a nice little angle on it. So I'm just going to brush my hairs upward. And I'm mainly just going to focus on trimming right here. Just cleaning this area up on the arch and in between the brows. And maybe a little bit of... Um, wow, look at that one long... Here, you guys can see that right there. Holy cow, that's like twice the length of all the other hairs. That's insane. I might need scissors to trim this as well. All right, so let's go ahead, you see it? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and test it out. And you know, everybody's home, so you'll hear lots of noise in the background. But here's what it sounds like. Yep, not too loud, not too bad. Now, I'm not normally, let me turn this off for a second. I'm not normally one to be up for shaving brows, but honestly, to go get them done is just an inconvenience. And if I can do this quickly in you know a short amount of time at home, then it's worth it. Okay, whatever. All right, so let's get into it. 
I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the sound it makes. Will it work on me? <laughs> Probably, but do you really want your brown shades? I mean, they're a bit out of control. I think Joey needs it. <laughs> okay, so just a little bit there, and we'll see. I don't know how precise you can get with something like this. I'm trying to be really careful to make sure I don't screw up my brow overall. And I don't want to make them too, too thin. Can you guys hear that? Okay, so it doesn't do a perfect job on getting all the little itty bitty fine hairs, but it is doing a really decent job. I mean, look at that compared to that side. Like, I had a lot of hair to remove, so. It's definitely enough to where I can apply makeup and it will look nice. I do have this one little hair, very, very stubborn little hair that does not want to come out. And I'm blocking all my lights. And let's do the middle. I'm just gonna brush this hair back into place and then see how it looks compared to the other side. All right, so here is the before and after on this product. Wow, it's been that long that I can't remember to look at the camera instead of at the viewfinder on my phone, the, the window, the phone itself, so I apologize. Okay, so here is the before, and here is the after. I think it is definitely a working product. I don't have any complaints so far. Let's go ahead and do the other brow. I wonder if I need to clean this real quick before I do the other one, because I took off quite a bit of hair. And then we can see how we, after each use, clean head with included brush. Twist head counterclockwise to lift off. Okay. A gently brush away hair residue on stem and cutting surface. Brush, use brush inside head. Replace them. Place head back on to twist. Okay. So to clean it, we just twist it counterclockwise and it pops right off. That was pretty simple. And then we use the little brush to clean everything out. All the little hairs. Wow, there's quite a bit of hair in there. Holy cow, look at that. Can you guys, hold on. Look at all that hair. That's insane. I have a lot of brows, people. Ugh, that's kind of gross, actually. <laughs> Let me go ahead and finish cleaning this up real quick. And then we will do the other side. There we go. All right, so you can get quite precise. I mean, so that is a pretty big difference on how my brows were before starting this video and how they look now. So yeah, there is a ton of brow hair on the table. That is gross. I need to not let them go that long. Okay, let's see. Let's clean this head out. Oh my god, the amount of hair that's in there, guys. Ooh. Hold on, wait for it. Oh, that's not even all of it, guys. Oops. So there is the hair that I just pulled out of it. That's insane. Really gross. And no, this is not used before. This was brand new. <laughs> so all that hair came off of my face today. All right, here is the little head blade and then this is the other piece that the blade sits in so yeah. that's a 
ton of hair, guys. Oof. So this product definitely works. It works really well, actually. I'm quite impressed, to be honest. When I was younger, I used to own the um, Finishing Touch like electric shave the little one that was meant for brows and stuff and I didn't really care for it I didn't like the way because it was a flat edge and it just didn't you know wasn't good enough to get some nice clean shaves so yep all right put it back together everything's working so we're just gonna pop the lid on that sucker and put that away and that's it all right, so this retails for about $20. I bought mine at Bed Bath & Beyond. They do sell them at Walmart. Um, so if you wanna grab one and try it out for yourself, it definitely gets approval from me. Um, and trust me, if I can do my brows with this thing, with as thick and long as my brows are, I don't think you should have any problems with yours, so. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also don't forget to follow me on social media. I am Angela.babe on Instagram. And I am YouTube.babe on Twitter and Snapchat. I love you guys and I will see you on my next video. Bye.